Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to the channel today. We've got another review. We've got the Prime Icon Miroslav Closer. This one came from a comment. That is another one off the list. Uh, we're going to go into the player, his details, uh, traits, stats, clips, summary, all that good stuff before we get into all of that. If I could ask you guys to please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you know when I upload and comment down below who you'd like me to review next. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So guys, this is the team that I use Miroslav Klosa in. Um, I played him at the striker position in a 4-3-3, a 4-4-2, and a 4-2-3-1 at times as well. Um, and guys, I have to say, my first impression of this card is it's very disappointing is what I would say. It's just disappointing for me. Um, I love Miroslav Klosa. I love the way that he used to just be in and around the box, scoring all these different styles of goals. Um, really predatory instinct instincts on this player and for me it just didn't live up to that hype getting into the car though six hot six foot tall high medium work rates right footed three starting moves and four star weak foot so overall so far not too bad and um, pretty nice five games played four goals scored and two assists now that's not a bad return especially given it's division one and he, the kind of defenders he'll be playing against he will not be suited to the meta so it will be tough to score with him but i still expected a couple more goals especially in situations which i got him into and um, he just didn't quite pull them off for me in terms of details i put a hunter on him the pace and the shooting the most important part of this card and i wanted to give him the best chance to score i feel like the other parts of his game actually were fine even without the boost to them so there's that as well in terms of attribute details guys now the key pros we're going to go for first the 93 finishing is fantastic when you actually get into the box get a clear chance to score he's absolutely great at that um guys the other thing as well that is really nice about this card is the jumping unfortunately i did not score any headers with him although you can see his heading is very op he did win a lot of headers for me especially off goal kicks um which was fantastic as well um, another key pro of this card guys is that she's passing his passing is phenomenal um compared to what it suggests it says 79 it feels more like high 80s and long pass feels in the low 80s as well so a really nice option there to play the ball with big man hold up play and good strength level there as well in terms of cons guys now the acceleration says 92 it definitely is not he feels very slow um even off the mark and then combine that with his low agility and balance he really does feel like he's stuck in the mud a little bit and that really does affect how this card does in terms of just moving in between defenders or getting into goal scoring positions um in terms of another con guys stamina is too low 81 high medium work rates if you're running around within the entire game he will uh, tire out towards the end so please do bear that in mind as well other than that no real cons of this card uh, just the agility and the pace really did let him down a lot and for that reason um he didn't really get as many goals as i would have liked him to in terms of traits he's got the miroslav closer special the power header trait which of course is nice to have i didn't score any headers guys i did win loads of headers but unfortunately couldn't get a goal off one in terms of the icon profile this is when he was playing for Werder bremen in the 2005-6 bundesliga season i will leave you guys to read the icon profile in your own time and having covered all that without further ado we're gonna get into some of the clips that i got with him so guys getting into some of miroslav closer's clips now and what you guys are going to see is two things i think and th this card really was a bit polarizing for me because he was so slow and stuck in the mud for the most part you're going to see some great striker hold up play and great play just in general terms of being able to do a lot of stuff on the ball what you are also going to see is some very stiff movement and very slow movement and that limits him so much in terms of what he can do um because his shooting is an elite level he does struggle sometimes to get the right finish off or get a pinpoint finish off in certain situations like this one for example where you could maybe ping it across i didn't have the confidence to take those shots on with him and um, because he doesn't quite have that elite shooting however guys what you will be noticing from all these clips as well is that his link up play is brilliant um he does hold the ball up very well he's got a good amount of strength and he puts his body in the way a lot which was nice as well guys in terms of another big pro of this card and it's one of the things that i haven't showed you on this on these clips but is really important about this Miroslav closer card is he makes and you'll see it there fantastic runs his positioning is sensational guys it, it may be the best positioning i've seen this year on fifa in that he holds the line so well he makes the runs at the right time his attacking awareness is just sensational in that regard um it's a shame that he couldn't then take advantage of that because his acceleration says he should be quick and yet it did not feel like he was quick at all um often what ended up happening then was that i was having to settle for difficult shots outside of the box which of course isn't his strength his strength is in and around the box fox in the box kind of play um and what ended up happening a lot of the time was 
I wouldn't be able to get past defenders with ease um, or even there for example pull the ball back in time he just doesn't have that slight of foot um, and it's really frustrating because actually this card should be in my opinion better than what this closer is uh, here guys you'll see the headers now he does this very frequently uh, at corners he wins headers on corners he gets into acrobatic situations and it's there you can see now where he will start to get some goals here is when he gets in and around that box and plays a real fox in the box role um he gets his finishes in and there's lovely finishes guys i mean these aren't all easy finishes to pull off especially for any player now this one here is just lovely it's a typical closer finish and in this final clip you guys are going to see a lovely skip past the defender and a smash into the back of the net so guys, getting into the final Miroslav Klose summary, 435 on the PlayStation, 398 on the Xbox, 545 on the PC. Not cheap, guys, for an icon, of course, um, and I think there's something that really has to be taken into account is his price with this card. Um, of course, the key stats here for me, the finishing, the attack positioning, both sensation on the jumping and the heading accuracy, of course, on corners or on any sort of set piece, you've got a good chance of winning the ball and getting a goal off it with his heading. In terms of cons, guys, I don't feel like that acceleration is what it is. I feel like it's a lot slower than that. And that may be down to his agility and balance, which is both very slow as well. Of course, prime icons, in terms of price, are constantly falling. This one now was at 400. Uh, well, it's taken a jump back up from Team of the Year, back at 435, but will drop again, especially as more promos come out, especially with Foot Birthday coming out and the Prime Icon moments coming out as well. In terms of similar players, guys, now none of these are even remotely close to what you're what you're getting with this card. I think something closer to Romelu Lukaku's playing card, where you're looking at a card that can strike the ball well. Uh, but not really dribble that well and it struggles with the technical aspects of the game um passing is okay on this card as well i think close is actually slightly better at passing than this card but it is a very similar shout finally guys in terms of linkability of course icons have a bunch of links to specifically german players of course as well as all the players in the fifa uh, ultimate team database so you've got some nice linkability there Finally, guys, getting into whether I would recommend purchasing this card. I wouldn't buy him yet, guys. Wait for him to drop a little further. This by far was my least favorite striker I've used so far. Um, compared with Henrik Larsson or Andrei Shevchenko or Drogba or Marco Van Basten, I genuinely enjoyed using them more. I think because their clinical ability, even in and around the box, this guy's shooting isn't quite elite level, which means that you have to rely a little more on his other attributes for which he is lacking a lot. I think actually another good shout for how similar he is, is Alan Shearer. I think he's very similar to that card and that he's very good in the box but outside of the box once you step out of there and try and do more technical stuff with him he really does struggle to get involved from that point hope you guys did enjoy this review if you did please do smash that like button and until next time I'll see you all in a bit